economic impact as well. One Ree and Rebecca Jarvis, our chief business and economics correspondent. And Rebecca, we know this could impact the economy. We already saw stock markets falling, the futures markets falling overnight on this news. Yeah, that's right, George. And we are living in this moment, this time of peak uncertainty. This is one more thing to just ratchet up the volume, ratchet up the heat on this entire situation. And while Wall Street, I've spoken to a number of veteran traders there who tell me they're not entirely sure what this will ultimately mean for markets or the economy, but there is a bias to sell on uncertainty like this. And while there isn't a lot of clarity in terms of what this will mean for the election, for politics and policy, there's clarity around the fragility of the current state of our U.S. economy. 8.4 percent unemployment. You have millions of Americans who continue to collect unemployment in this country. 837,000 Americans just last week filed new claims for unemployment benefits. We have seen for weeks and months now highly elevated numbers of American layoffs. And at this point in the recovery, we've only recovered about half of the more than 20 million jobs lost in the state of this pandemic. And George, what's very important is that an hour away from now, we will get the September jobs report. That will be the final jobs report before the election, expected to show 800,000 new jobs added back to the economy in the month of September. The good news, jobs being added back. The trouble with that is the slowing, the slowing rate of job additions here in the United States when we really need to see that number growing exponentially. George? Okay, Rebecca, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.